Hey folks, good morning. It's Hari Swaminathan and I wanted to make this quick market update. Yesterday was a massive day in the S&P. It went down by about 38 points and you can see that the VIX actually had climbed over 15 uh, yesterday. This morning, it seems to be a little uh, lower in the pre-market. It's uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time uh, today and uh, that's Friday, August 13th. So here we are and seems to be a little bit of a of a reprieve here but it's yet to be seen i think the big drop yesterday was uh, some of it was probably due to the barcelona event as well as the fact that various ceos were resigning from business councils and everything here in the us now uh, vix being that high gives you an opportunity to uh, capture some volatility crush if the downturn doesn't continue and it seems like it's been stable since I've been watching about one to two points, not a whole lot, but perhaps something like a bear call on the S&P would be uh, the way to go. So if we analyze this and if you want to put a bear call, like say uh, seven days away, uh, I think you can get quite a bit of uh, premium there. So here, if you see the plus or minus move is about 45. So uh 2430 plus 45 is about 2475 and perhaps we can go to about go to about 2480 i believe uh let's check it out if there's any uh options any money there so if you go to about 2480 there's nothing there so seven days is too far i mean uh, it's too close let's say uh 14 days 14 day bear call and you're getting a plus or minus of 61 so about uh, say 24, uh, 2500 close to that would be there's no premium there as well. So you can come to maybe 11 Delta and at 2480 you can do it, but seems a little bit risky. So I thought that may, there may be a trade over there, but I don't think it's worth it because 2480 is only about uh, 50 points away and the plus or minus itself, the one standard deviation is 61. So that uh, won't make sense. Uh, perhaps the best thing to do maybe to come to the closest if you wanted to do sort of like an intraday trade I think the uh, prices there might be a little attractive so for example here uh, 2450 things like that the plus or minus is is 16 even for today which is like very high and that's obviously because the VIX level has uh, gone up so uh, so much uh, now, normally, if the plus or minus is 16 for one day, you would you know you could potentially buy a strangle. However, because the volatility is high and it's going to get crushed, I would not recommend that. And um, so maybe a vertical uh, or even an iron condor, uh, because today seems to be somewhat flattish. Uh, so maybe an iron condor 20 points away, 15 points away uh, at um, you know, 2445 and 2420 or 2415 might make sense. So, but this volatility is going to get crushed today. So, you know, if you wanted to take advantage of an intraday situation, this is what we would do. Uh, you also have to keep an, one eye on the uh, happenings outside of the markets because I think a lot of that might drive uh, the sentiments uh, for today also. Anyway, just a quick uh, day trade opportunity, I suppose, uh, for today. If you wanted to sell uh, some premium and take advantage of the high VIX, uh, this is what you could do. You could do an iron condor just on the front uh, side itself. Thanks.